So hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna explain what is clinical SaaS programming because a lot of people have confusion about this industry as well and for this role as well. So you know, clinical SaaS programmer, this is a role. So what do you do on this role? So how the name clinical SaaS programmer for this role was given? So see, clinical is an industry that includes CROs as well, pharmaceuticals as well, those companies who are involved in the drug development process. Okay, there can be multiple types of companies. Now coming to SaaS, SaaS is one one of the major software that is used on this role for data analyst and programmer because you do programming in the SAS software. That's why this role is known as clinical SAS programmer. But you know this role is globally known as statistical programmer. If you have to search jobs on LinkedIn or if you have to search working professionals on LinkedIn, then you have to search statistical programming. Now the question is why the name from clinical SAS programmer statistical programmer name is given. The simple reason is earlier the name contains SAS software. So it shows the role is limited to SaaS software, but in actual, the role is not limited to only SaaS software. Nowadays, from past few years, companies have also started using R as well, and sometimes Python as well. You know, 90% of companies are using SaaS only, but they are trying R as well and Python as well. So companies don't want to replace these softwares with each other, but they want to continue with the SaaS software, but they want to utilize the power and efficiency of the R software as well and Python software as well. So that's why the role is global known as statistical programmer if you have to search on LinkedIn as well if you have to search working professional as well and how the name statistical programmer was given to this role so statistical because you do statistical analysis on this role okay you analyze the data using statistical methods because you do statistical analysis on this role to analyze the data that's why this role is also known as statistical programmer you utilize statistical methods to utilize the clinical data that is nothing but patient data or volunteer data or study data and because you do programming in the software, either you use SAS software, R software or Python software to analyze the data. So that's why statistical programmer. Coming to last point, on this role, you don't analyze the journal data. It is clinical data and clinical data is very much crucial. It is very much regulated. You have to follow CDISC, SRDM, ADAM standards to standardize the data, to make it analysis level. Then you have to create some report. And actually you'll be analyzing the clinical data. And that's why you are also known as clinical SAS programmer or statistical programmer. So I hope most of your doubt related to this role will be clear now. If you have any more questions, you can ask me in the comments as well. And if you want to connect me, you can connect me through one to one counseling by checking the link in the video description. So let's meet in the next video. Thank you everyone and bye bye everyone.